Hello YouTube and welcome to another Cisco tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you the differences between the classic Cisco iOS and the new one Cisco iOS XR. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know Cisco iOS XR is the iOS used on high-end carrier grade routers like for example the CRS and the ASR 9000 series okay so there are some differences between this the classic iOS and the iOS XR so the classic actually iOS is a monolithic kernel so everything is installed on single image and all the processes share the same address space okay so that's what is the classic iOS but for the iOS XR the kernel is based on iOS called actually QNX, QNX that runs some very powerful and reliable system so for example we can find the QNX in air traffic control systems and even in nuclear power facilities okay but here I'm going to show you the differences in the command line okay so here as you can see I'm connected to two routers one running the classic iOS and one running the Cisco iOS XR and I'm gonna show you some couple of differences between the two systems so let's begin for example with the classic iOS so here as you can see for the classic iOS the prompt is actually the host name so here the host name for this router is router so this is the classic iOS but if we go to the Cisco iOS XR we're gonna see that the prompt is different it's actually uh, some uh, actually sections divided by a slash so here as you can see RP the first section stands for the route processor okay so and se uh, the first zero actually is the rack number okay then we find another zero that actually means the slot number okay and also the CPU zero which is the model so this is the model that executes the user commands so usually you will find CPU 0 or CPU 1 okay and colon then actually the host name of the router so the default here for the host name is iOS so this is the first difference that we can notice between the classic iOS and Cisco iOS XR is the prompt okay so now let's go deeper and see other differences so here let's go to the classic one so if you want to go to the global config mode you type conf t which stands for configure terminal okay here we go so now we are in the global config mode we can for example change the host name so i will change the host name for uh, my router for example I will call it R01 okay and I will hit enter so here you can see that the prompt has changed so the host name before it was router now it becomes R01 and you can see that the changes are immediate after the enter so after the enter all the changes are immediate so let's see now the difference in the Cisco iOS XR so in order to go to the global config mode we can of course type conf t or just conf so if I tap just conf here we go you can see that now I'm on the global config mode so the difference is here between the classic iOS is that we don't need actually to add the t for terminal okay so let's change the host name for this router so remember the default host name is iOS as you can see here on the prompt let's try to change it I will type host name for example I will call this one R02 okay so if I hit enter 
you see that we still have actually as hostname iOS so there is no immediate changes so actual, actually for the, the changes to happen you must commit the changes okay but before that we can see what we call the candidate configuration so if we issue the command show config we can actually see the changes that will happen so here you can see that hostname really became r02 so this is what we call the candidate configuration okay so we are not committing yet our changes so if you want to commit them all you have to do is to type the command commit so now as you can see the hostname has changed from iOS to R02 so this is the big difference between the classic iOS and Cisco iOS XR and the Cisco iOS XR if you want actually the changes to happen you must commit them using the command commit okay one other thing let's me for example I want to change the host name from R02 to R03 so I can of course type once again the command host name R03 and I will hit enter so as I told you in order to actually make changes permanent we have to commit our changes but let's say that we changed our mind and we don't want anymore to rename the host name from R02 to R03 how we can actually do that so we can simply type exit so if we type exit all the commands that have entered before will not exist so if I do exit you can see here that I have a prompt uncommitted changes found commit them before exiting so you can here just type no in order not to commit your changes okay so if I do show config to, sh to see actually the candidate configuration you will see that I have no changes here okay there is also another command so for example let me go to the global config mode okay so let's for example uh, try to add looped back interface so we'll, I will add loop back interface looped I will call it for example looped uh, 01 okay I will assign it an IP address so in order to assign IP address here we have to specify IPv4 then any address you want and here you can use actually the notation slash and subnet mask so here I will use this slash 24 okay here I forget actually the keyword address IP address here we go so now we are in the uh, what we call the candidate configuration okay so if you want to see the candidate config as I told you you can do the command show config actually here I'm on interface configuration mode I have to go back then issue the command show config in the global config mode so here you can see the command that we have added so this is our interface load back one and this is the IP address okay so here we have two options either to commit changes or actually to rule back our configuration so if you changed your mind and you don't want to commit these changes you can as I told you execute command exit or simply use command clear okay so now all the changes in the candidate configuration would be lost so if you issue the command show config once again you will see that 
the added command for the interface looped back has disappeared okay one very important thing also to notice in the Cisco iOS XR if we want to make a change but we want to be sure that we don't lose for example connection to our router how can we do that okay so I will show you that in example for example let me uh, add an interface for example here load back for example 2 okay I will add IPv4 address for example 10.1.1.1 slash 16 okay and now I am at the point to commit my changes okay so, but I'm afraid if this command will actually lead to lose connection with my router so in order to prevent that we can actually issue another command called commit confirmed so if I, G, I enter here the command commit confirmed and question mark you can see that we can actually specify how many seconds until the rollback okay so to roll back all these commands here okay so we can specify also that in minutes okay so for example let commit confirm it after 30 seconds okay so if actually something happened and for example we lost the connection to our router all we have to do here is just to wait 30 seconds then this configuration that we have added here will disappear so here if I go and show you show configuration show config you can see that I lost actually uh, the configuration because here I answered no that you want to exit okay another very important uh, command that you can also use is actually if you want to show the changes between the running configuration and the candidate configuration okay so I will show you how for example uh, here let's change the host name to something else so for example let me change the host name to 0r03 if you want to to see the changes between the candidate configuration and the running one you can issue the command show commit changes changes def def stands actually for differences okay so here you can see minus is actually the command that will be actually removed and the plus superior sign here means the command that actually will be added to the configuration okay so it's pretty nice uh, actually command that you can use before committing your changes to see the differences between the running config and the candidate config okay and another very important thing for example let's here change host name to r03 okay let's commit that okay here I have this message because you want to proceed with this commit in a way yes I will answer yes here you can see that the configuration has actually changed from R02 to R03 if you want to roll back the last config all you have to do is to type this command I have to go roll back then config then last one but you have to execute it as you have seen here in the privilege exec mod okay here we go so 
so you can see now that actually I rolled back what I have committed so now the prompt has actually went to the last configuration so as you can see here the host name is not r03 but it actually rolled back to the last config which is r02 okay so that was just a brief introduction to the Cisco iOS XR and the most interesting things or the most interesting command that you can use in order to differentiate between the classic iOS and Cisco iOS XR. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.